For years, properties along the University Avenue corridor have been sitting empty. But now, Green Bay City planners say they're finalizing a plan to develop the area. The plan involves a four-mile stretch from the East River to the UW Green Bay campus. Ben Cromoles has the latest in this Fox 11 follow-up. For the past several years, University Avenue properties like the former Tillman Landscape Nursery site have sat dormant. However, those sites could soon start seeing some action. We've had people uh, contact the city as well as, as well as our steering committee members asking for more information on some of these properties. The recent attention has been spurred through the city's efforts to redevelop the corridor. After a year and a half, city planners and the public have come up with a 144-page plan. We have neighborhood associations, businesses, nonprofits, religious groups uh, trying to coordinate a whole plan for the whole university corridors. The plan addresses everything from traffic congestion to pedestrian safety. City planners say the big issues the plan hopes to address immediately are five underutilized and possibly contaminated properties. The city refers to them as brownfield sites. They include the former Tillman Nursery, the former Packerland Packing Plants, the American Foods Group Plants, another American Foods lot, and the former Brown County Mental Health Center site. The, the big issue with the Brownfield Redevelopment Plan is to eliminate all the question marks for a future developer uh, so that they know what they're getting their, their, their hands on. The city hopes grants will help pay for any work needed to make the site's development ready. If the plan is approved, the city planners say it could take 10 to 20 years to fully implement. In Green Bay, Ben Crumpholz, Fox 11 News. A $200,000 EPA grant helped fund the plan. The city's plan commission has approved it. Its recommendation still has to go before the city's redevelopment authority and full city council.